Okay, I have some vocals, so I'm going to get started. This screencast is for both sections of BISS 1123, so I will post it in your announcements area. I won't be doing uh, any uh, uh, screencasting because we're in that part of the, of the course right now where you have big projects uh, and you also have, um, you have the final exam to prepare for. So uh, I'm over here in, in section A, all right? And we'll come down here and we are at, a week, I think this is week 11. No, past that. This is week 12, excuse me. This is week 12 for both sections of BISS 1123. Uh, section B, which meets on Monday, their two days are the 23rd and the 25th, Monday and Wednesday. For section A, that meets on Tuesday, Thursday, their days are the 24th and the 26th. I'm over here in section A, okay, uh, and but the same thing applies to you uh, who are also in section B because the two, two classes are tracking together and I make the assignments due on the same day and time for everybody. As you may, as you'll notice here, uh, for this week we have no class meeting, you have flex time now. I want to point out to you, again, to, to remind you, um, you should have already uploaded access case one, two, three, and four. We've done them. You should have uploaded them. There's no reason for you to lose points unless you just simply uh, didn't look at the screencast and then immediately upload the file, okay? Because I put them over there for, I, I put them in the files. So when I see people that don't turn something in, I go, why are, you, why are you losing this credit, okay? And the workshop credit's important. There are 18 assignments. Uh, there, pardon me, 19, 18. There are the, the Excel assignments, pardon me, 19. The Excel assi assignments as well as, the, as well as the access assignments. I do the workshops, as I've told every every week, every class, I say, okay, I'm gonna show you how to do this. If you'd like to try it yourself and upload your time, go ahead. Here's how to do it. And, and you've seen, sometimes I'll show you multiple, uh, you know, say I might have several versions of, of Access Case 1 that over the years I've kind of worked on and played around. I see you could use one of those as well. The main thing is that you have the screencast, you have your textbook open, and you're paying attention. And as you're learning, I think slowly but surely, I will give you a hands-on piece, hands-on portions of an exam where you have to have been paying attention. You can't just walk in and do those. And for some of you, I know for many of you, it's been, it's, it can be challenging, but you have the book, the solve it book you you have the the, the video recording i will often have examples of, of of different ways to do it so how you could not upload some, even if you just tried it how you could do that and lose the points is beyond me but i'm, I'm seeing people do this i don't get it okay enough of that now you have no class meeting you have flex time I'm gonna post this screenshot. I, I'll, I'm gonna post this screencast both in section A and in section B. So you're both gonna see the same thing. Now here, I'm over in section A and, and here's what's going on, on uh, in week 12. And let's scroll down further and let's take a look. Now, you see in week 13, there's flex time, no class meeting. I'm giving you plenty of time to work on the major projects that I have for you as we end the course, as well as the final, which means you've got plenty of time to ask me questions if you don't. Now, I have yet to figure out how I'm gonna handle these 
okay? Because all of my courses are now in that phase. So I may spend more time in Shawnee there in the office. I may be over there, say, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I may do that. I may just simply say on Wednesday, I'm going to have office hours uh, for each class. And if you have a question, you can come in. Okay. Uh, so I'll have, might have a general, you know, I might have uh, office hours for, uh, for a Q and a for just this course. And then I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with that, but I do know this, this is to, this is to serve as a guide for you as we move through this. So you see a week, week, uh, week 12, you should have done all these should all be uploaded. We come to week 13 nothing is due. That's a week for you to do some work. And as we come to uh, week 14, you'll see that uh, the last two access cases are due. Okay. And then uh, you start to, you have two projects due, the XLS function paper and the spatial analysis exercise. All right. Now you say, where are the, where are the directions for those? Now, I want to mention, let me start up here at the XLS paper. Again, as I've said repeatedly, I do not want a formal paper. Here's what I want. I want you to tell me why you chose the function that you did. I want you to show me, okay, definitively, that you know how to use the function. And then I want you to explain to me how that function why I would, why it's, how I can apply it out of the business world and then provide me some references. As I've said before, you could do some screenshots with some narrative that, and put them in a Word document. You could, if you wish, uh, do some screenshots and, and put it, you could put it into a PowerPoint if you wanted to. To me, the idea would be that you upload an XLS file, an Excel file, with, with your narrative, okay? Uh, it, showing me how the thing works. And with narrative, you can, of course, you can insert text files. So you can insert a text file so I can see a comment as you explain to me how it works, why you chose it, et cetera. Those would be the three ways I say would be, would be fine, okay? Now, um, again, you can use any of the functions that we used when we covered, uh, when we did the cases. I don't want you to, I don't want you to use something like, I'm going to do mine on the sum. Uh, no, that's no good. Now, sum if, that would be different. Um, so it, it, any of those functions we used in the, in the, in the, um, in the cases are fine. Um, or if there's one you find that you want to do, I'd like you to tell me ahead of time so I can take a look at it and see, yeah, okay, or not. Otherwise, we're, you know, we're good to go. So you're going to have that, that function paper, all right? And as I mentioned to you, before, as I mentioned right here, there will be no presentations. So you don't, I'm not going to call on your, you know, make it, your presentation, you don't need to do that. So you need to worry about that. I decided it all over time, it just, it, it just was, I don't know. Anyway, you get to do enough presentations with everybody else. So trust me, you're, you're gonna be, you're, you're, I see all of you at school, many of you dressed up, had to do a presentation, uh, fine. Um, now, the spatial analysis exercise, that one is due, okay, on week 14. And I, let's see if I had the instructions in here for it, or now it says send instructions. So where am I gonna find the instructions? You're gonna find the instruction over in the files section, okay? Let's look here at the paper function. See, so, uh, okay, and again, uh, you'll find the file, if you go to the file section, you'll find the directions. 
although I feel like I've gone over the, the function paper enough times in these screencasts to explain to you what I'm after. The, uh, the, the spatial analysis exercise, that's a different animal. So let's scroll up here and we'll go to the files section. Okay, and I'm gonna search for uh, spatial. And there it is, the instructions. I have a retail site for you. And, and, and I want you to go to that, the website for that retailer, you know, get their full address, see, et cetera, and provide a print screen that provides evidence. Now, sometimes I have used the words screenshot and I've had people literally take a picture of their computer screen. No, what I mean is, and I make sure about, if I use the word screenshot, what I really mean is print screen, okay? So I'm gonna ask you to, to give me a series of print, print screens so I can see that you followed the steps. And you're gonna be using um, Esri zip code lookup, Esri tapestry, you're gonna be using Google Maps, Google Earth, to, to perform a series of steps where you're gonna do some geospatial analysis. And I have those all load, I have those out, outlined for you, step by step by step. Okay? So that's, uh, I can't make those instructions any more explicit than that. All right, I'm gonna close this off and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if we can call it function paper. Although I think I've explained it enough times. Here is a, here is a rubric that I developed. Now before I turn this into a, a, into a uh, before I turned this into a hybrid course, it was a full ground-based course, and we had a presentation day where, every, where each section did presentations of their Excel functions. So you got got to, you know, you've been through this. But this, this rubric will help you, okay, in terms of, 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 of what I'm after. Now, again, this is not a formal paper. So if you look at the syllabus and you see the instructions, take them, yeah, hold those aside. This rubric kind of helps you, okay? But here's, again, let me repeat, here's what I want. I want you to tell me why you chose a particular function. I want you to prove to me that you know how it works. And then I want you to tell me the type a uh, business problem where you can apply it. Then I want some references. That's all I want from the function paper. Don't over don't overthink it. All right. And again, those are the two big projects that you have. Now let's go back over into the modules section. We'll close this off. I'm giving you plenty of time to get these done. Okay. Now I will always have that student who's, who, who, who doesn't think, who doesn't think clearly and say, he's giving me time here to get these done because they may be time consuming and they may be challenging. I think you hit the nail on the head. Okay. So that and, and again that that's week 12 which is this week and then next week is the flex time now I'm going to post this screencast in both sections okay so you'll have it now how I'm going to be available I will at least be available there in my office in Shawnee maybe a little more I'm thinking probably right now Monday uh, uh, Monday, Thursday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 
and, and Tuesday just be a purely virtual day. I may not. I may just decide to, to make Tuesday, Wednesday, a, a virtual office day. And, and if, and, and, or you could email me with questions and I can try to answer those questions. Okay. Now I made a special effort yesterday, which was Friday to be there. I was there from 10 30 in the morning till four o'clock in the afternoon. And no one came by to see me, which really surprised me because I thought people would be coming by and saying, Hey, uh, I'm, can you help me with this or that? All right. So I may just say, I'm going to save the carbon footprint on Tuesday and just have a virtual office hours and just be online and be there. And if you don't ask me for help, I can't help you. Okay. So don't let this fool you, these flex times. Again, as I said, this part of, the, part of what makes this course difficult is it challenges you to grow up a little bit. It challenges you, to, when you upload work, to make sure you've uploaded the right work, to make sure that you're on top of your assignments and, and, and manage your time and be able to think ahead. That, that's part of the challenge of this, all right? Uh, uh, and and I, I won't apologize for that because when you go to work, your boss is going to hand you a project and say, it's, I need this by June. Or your customer will say, we need the stuff delivered to us by April the 19th or whatever. And, and, then, and then you appearing sheepishly and saying, I'm sorry, uh, I just kind of forgot and, 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 and it's late. Can you, you, that's the way you'll probably lose a job lose customers or both. So when I'm having people tell me, oh, I forgot to upload the work. When I've sat here, I'm, I'm not real sympathetic. And I want, I, I'm, I want to say this, you need to understand, here's my policy. My policy on light work is, and I've said this consistently, is half credit for the first time, zero thereafter. And I don't accept late work starting at week 10. Telling me that you forgot to turn in your assignment is about one of the worst things you can do. And see, here's the thing. You can't take this personally if you send me an email like that and I say, unfortunately, I can't accept your work late work. You know why? Because I care enough about you to, 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 to not allow you to build a, a, a bad habit where you think you can turn your work in any time you want. Uh, this is no different than, you know, folks who don't show up for work. Now, I've designed this course to be about as friendly to anybody who's an athlete, works, et cetera, as I possibly could. But when I see people lay, lay points on the table because they just weren't thinking, I don't know what to think. But I, I'm, I'm giving both sections the same video, so you've heard, both of you have heard me say this spiel, because this is a deceptively quiet part of the time. Of course, I'm not going to be doing class meetings because I'm expecting you to be working on your projects, to be working on your final. If you decide to try to do all this at the last minute, I guarantee you, you'll be in suffering. So. Sit down right now, take a look at these due dates and say, okay, build yourself a kind of a little plan. All right, now for the week of the 8th and the 10th, uh, there's no class time, that's flex time. And by this point, you, you, will upload, you should upload your function paper and you upload the special, extra, uh, special analysis exercise. Now, now you see why we went ahead and we've done, you should have already uploaded, uh, access case five and access case six. Why? Because those, you've got that work out. If you have this work done, then you've got the work to prepare for L final. Okay. Now the final exam periods for this class, for, for my sections, I'm gonna, since I'm doing both, since I'm posting this, this, this in both sections, I'm going to open up and let you see. Dr. Harmon's, what amazes me is I'll get emails from people who go, 
Uh, what's your final schedule? When's our final? Uh, I, I don't know what to do. It amazes me. I'm serious. I'm dumbfounded. Usually I see one of those emails because I go, have you not been with us? <laughs> so, you know, folks, get a handle on this. You need to check in over here almost every day. To, and you're taking the class. I'm making it convenient and accessible, but it puts the onus on you to turn in the work. And I guarantee you, you, you don't need to be sitting in a seat. You'll be doing some work. Okay, well, let's look at this for a moment. And uh, I'm going to scroll through. And wherever there's a yellow, you'll see that's one of my classes. All right. Business 1120, BISS 1123B, Section B. That's the Monday, Wednesday section. Meets uh, from 2 to 3.15. Now, the university says if you meet, you, you, you do at the starting time. So, your final exam is 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Wednesday the 16th. Will I physically be there? You may not want to count on that. I will probably be online virtually. I may, may go over there. I'm just, I'm, I'm not sure. Do you want to be taking exams or working on stuff at eight o'clock in the morning? Uh, that's why I'm giving you the flex time. You say, so Dr. Harmon, I could do all my stuff and have it done before the final exam time. If you're smart, you will. I want to say, take a minute also to talk about um, uploading work. You need to be particularly careful because if you upload a blank assign a blank paper, like I've had people do, or the wrong assignment, okay, or I get one of these emails that says, I've had technical problems. If you weren't working at OBU, you're toast. And I would really say this, I wouldn't try to do the final exam during those two hours. I'd get that stuff done before. And we'll talk about what's on there. But the final exam period for section B, which is the Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday section is Wednesday, May 16th. Now, you, you probably text a, a little semi crabby urgency in my voice. Yes, because we're coming up to those times where I know the temptation will be to just kind of put this off. Don't do that. Please don't do it. Build yourself a small, build yourself kind of a schedule so that you get this stuff done. If you get my finals done, then you've got time to work on others. And so all I can do is coach you the best and, and, and hope for the best with you. Now, let's look down here and you'll see on Thursday, the May 17th, Thursday, May 17th, our class section A meets Tuesday, Thursday, 1230 to 145. So the final exam period for section A is Thursday at eight o'clock in the morning. All I can say is, you heard what I had to say about the 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and all that stuff about for section B, it applies for you as well, except that your work is due that Thursday morning at 8 o'clock in the morning. All right. Now, I also have a final at 6 o'clock that night. So I'm frankly doubting that I'm going to be over in Shawnee by 7 in the morning and staying till 9 o'clock at night. It's probably not going to happen. I'll probably come over there. But Understand this, when the final exam period is over, the course has ended. Don't ask me to give you time, extra time to do the work. I can't, the class is finished. So uh, take heed and, and you can't say I didn't tell you so, you know when these are due, all right? And both of them are at nasty times of day. Eight in the morning is not a time you want to be fiddling around with an exam or, or trying, to, uh, trying to do. Now, I want to go back over, and I'm going to take some time to talk about this. So we're going back over the modules, all right? Because I do want to talk about the finals. Now, you say, all right, what am I supposed to do for, for, for part one? I have a screen. I have a document for you, which tells you everything you need to do for final exam 
uh, part one. And this is where you're going to take that that the, that comma separated file value called how do we fix an app like that and you're going to do some work with it you're going to take it and you're going to import it into a microsoft access file you'll probably have to do some work with the fields we've talked about that some of the field you may have some fields in there that need to be treated as, as numbers, not as text. And you're gonna create your database, all right? And then I have you go back to the, to the CSV file, open it and save it as a Microsoft Excel file. Okay. In fact, I, I have, what, I, what I have you do is, yeah, I have you convert the CF, I, I have you convert the comma separated file, file, the CSV file, before I have you import it into Access. And then I'm going to ask you to run some report, create some reports for me using Access. And that means you're going to have to generate some queries. We've done six cases. I've recorded them. I've shown you how to do them. So doing some of these queries should not be difficult for you. And if it is, you'll just go back and look at the cases. They're over there. That's why I recorded them for you. So you could, you could get a feel for it. And of course, you know, when you import the Excel file, that will create a table for you. And we've gone through the import and export processes, I think at least three or four times as we covered Excel, I mean, access, excuse me. Then here's some more reports. And then when you've completed all the tasks, upload your Microsoft, upload your access file and your Excel file. And you say, what? If you look down here on task number 14, I'm going to ask you to use the Microsoft Excel file to do some charting. And I want you to depict the ratings per version per by quarter for April, May, and June. And I want you to limit the analysis of ratings to those that were the highest and the lowest. Now, in my mind, first of all, this sounds like a chart charting and, and you and you do and you do and you'll do some charting okay secondly it sounds like a job for a pivot table okay so step 14 is where you work on the excel file okay and uh and and that's uh, you know the final exam part one so you're going to do work with the access file, run some queries, generate report. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna take that, how do you fix, oh, let, me, let me summarize. You're gonna take that comma separated value file, how do we fix snap like that, and I told you where to find it. You're going to save it as a Microsoft Excel file on your desktop, okay? Then you're going to import it into access, into an empty access file. You're going to save all that on your desk, desk, uh, desk, desktop. You'll and and that you'll have that table. You may have to fiddle around with the data type. So if it's text, you change it to number. Run the reports, save that, and upload it where it says upload Microsoft Access file here. Then you'll have the Excel file, and you'll do the work with the Excel file, and you'll and you'll upload it in the place where it says upload the Excel file here. So that's part one of the final. That's part one. And part one is due at the beginning of the final exam period. Don't even ask. It's due then. Now, let's look at part B. Now, before I do that, I want you to notice 
I also provided a screencast uh, for the uh, for final exam part one, which shows you I show you a screencast. All right, and note where you see the words Canvas or hear the words Canvas. Insert the word Mo uh, Moodle. Insert the words Canvas, but it's the same set of directions. So I put give them to you in writing. I give them to you in this screencast. So I, I short of tattooing them to your forehead. I don't know what else to do. Now I'm I, I'm I'm being like this because this is important because there's a lot of points here. So I want you to do well with them. I want you to learn and, and do the do the tests as well. So we've got the uh, final exam part one. And there's the one for the Excel file. Now here's final exam part two. And as you know, this should be submitted no later than 10 a.m. Central Time. The beginning for both, uh, for section B, your exam, final exam time is from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on uh, Wednesday of finals week. For part, uh, for, let me go back here. Before I get myself and you confused. Now, well, I can tell you this. I'm over here on, I'm, I'm here in, in the section A. So section A is on uh, May 17th then that means section B would be on the 16th. Now here's part two. Okay. And I tell you, here's where to upload it. And this is an exam. It covers uh, concepts one and two. It co covers concepts previously covered in exam one and exam two. Now, that's part two. Part three, this covers the Microsoft Excel cases in the Solvit textbook. We had all of those cases on Excel using Excel, so I've drawn, I've developed an exam, a quiz based on an exam. You get two attempts, 40 minutes, 40 items. Let me say this, if you do one, if I get an email from somebody and they say, oh, why is it minute before I should? I, look folks, you're big people and you'll be out of luck. So it's in your best interest to not submit. You get two attempts in 40 minutes that will give you your highest grade. So you've got 40 items. So I would have that, if you think you could sit down and just plunk your way through it, you will, be, you, you will not be, you will be in for a very unpleasant surprise. So you have two attempts within 40 minutes, okay? That means you're gonna to have to study uh, and have that solve it book with you and, and, and ready to answer those questions. And if you've had it and been following the cases, many of these questions, you'll know them already. But I can't emphasize enough, it's two attempts within 40 minutes. You cannot stop and then go back. Once you start the exam, that is, you have to submit it. If you do half the work and, and walk away and thinking, oh, I'll do the rest of it, it, it doesn't work like that. It will take that as a submission. So you've heard it here first. I've told you this. And you know, see, so you, you, hopefully you've listened and, 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 and taken note of this. All right. And it's the same uh, for part two. So this is part three. And then part four, this covers the Microsoft Access cases. This is another objective quiz. Two attempts, 40 minutes, you have 30 items. You say, oh, this sounds like you're drawing questions out of 
both parts of uh, the Excel stuff and the solve a textbook and the axis. Yep. That's why you bought the book to do the cases and then to draw. And then I draw these questions out. Two attempts, 40 minutes, 30 items. And I've got to set up CC one item at a time. So let me say this. If you go in and you try to take each item at a time and then screenshot them, all right, you will never get through. You'll never get you'll never get through it. And, and so again, you do not have the option to <laughs> to 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 start and then stop and go back. Once you've done that, once and once you've done two submissions, it's finished. It's over and done. And 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 I do this so I make sure that you read that solve a text and study it. All right, so we've used the text. You've really got you, you, you've gotten your money worth money's worth out of the text. We use it for cases. We use it for these exams. That's part four. And then I had a zip file uh, for the final exam, part one materials. And I'll download it and show, show you what's in there. And uh, here's some data set. This may not be showing, I don't think it is. But that, my friends, is the final exam and the projects that we have coming due. Now, I'm going to record, I'm going, once the screencast is finished, I'm gonna record it and I'm gonna post it in both sections. This is the only screencast I'm gonna do this week. It's highly likely that I'll take this and post it next week. So I reinforce for you what you need to be go doing, what's going on. And uh, remember, if you, if you have qu questions, you can, uh, you can certainly contact me and I'll answer you. And don't forget, with these YouTube, uh, with these YouTube uh, videos, you can, you can get the transcript so you can read it. And I have, uh, you know, I, 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 I've, sh I've, I've shown you that and I have a link over there that talks you through the process of how to do the transcript. So you can watch the video to your, you, you can watch the video, you can print out, you can get the transcript and print it out. So you, you should know. But this is the only screencast I'm going to do this week. I'll put this in both uh, section A and section B and uh, to, to get you moving along on your projects. Please don't pro pro procrastinate. Please, please, please. I beg of you, don't do that or you'll put yourself into a real fix and you'll, and you'll hurt your grade, okay? All right, well folks, that, that's, uh, that's pretty much gonna do it. I'm gonna stop the share and then end the, meet and the uh, recording and that'll do it.